Ha! I know oh. you know it. Oh. I know you know it, which is why I'm so sorry to have to take this from you. You are quick on that draw, yeah, my friend. Yeah, it, it, is, it is not easy. It's very like an immediate, like, oh, like you just pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays Jeopardy. Mr. Red and Connor plays Jeopardy. What's up? How are you today? I'm okay. and now, how are you today? How were you yesterday and how are you today? Tell me both and then compare the two. Yesterday. Right. I was okay. Great. Today, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I, I understand. I see you. I, 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 I know what you're saying to me. And more, more than any of that, I'm ready to play some Jeopardy. Now, in the last episode, we got to Double Jeopardy. We saw our categories, a little bit of a foreshadowing, spoilers, if you will, for this episode. But now, now we have to do the work of actually playing them. Do we have what it takes? Well, there's literally only one way to find out. Well, there's two ways. One is just to instinctively know it. Right. Which I do. Oh, right? okay. But I'm not going to tell you. Oh, well. The other way is to play the game and find out ourselves. So right, great. What a weird esoteric start. <laughs> Wait, who makes that car? The journey. I don't know. See, we're already off to a bad start. Oh, I don't know. Do you know? Uh, yeah, I do actually. <laughs> the Dodge Journey. Precisely. Now, how do you expect me to know something like that? I don't know Be things. More worldly. I guess, it's but they're cars, though. The they're cars, though. Uh. Nonfiction number two. This account of how a Warsaw couple hid hundreds of people from Nazis became a 2017 Jessica Chastain film. Oh, shoot. What's Jessica that? Chastain? I it's, don't know. Um, oh, I think I do know, actually. Hmm, that's not what I would guess. No, oh, sorry. it wasn't what I would guess. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to say it's the uh, zookeeper's wife. I feel like oh, that's correct. Yeah. That's- I haven't actually seen this movie. Right, me neither. But I, I don't, I couldn't tell you why I know the name of it. I don't think I've ever seen a trailer for it. I think I'm gonna stick with the 2000s. Let's go. Let's not go NFL. Let's go American museums. 1907, a museum devoted to this artist opened in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Ooh, I think I know it. I think I might. Okay. I'm gonna go for. It's not on here. Okay, I'm gonna say Georgia O'Keeffe because of that episode of Breaking Bad where they talked about That's Georgia O'Keeffe. Nice. And it worked out for me. It worked out for me. Nice. They, You're ahead. You're oh, ahead. I'm ahead. Oh, I'm ahead. I'm beating you now. Ha! Huh? All right, Look press the home button and cancel it so that we can stop playing. All right. Yep. Uh, I'm this gonna is close the, the nice software. Episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, well, we'll keep playing, I guess. Uh, stick with museums. It seemed to work out for me. Honorees at the Astronaut Hall of Fame in Florida include this first American in space. Okay. Okay, ha! You bust in before I bust in! Why'd you do that, Connor? You knew I knew it! Yes, correct. It's Alan Shepard. Congratulations! Shepard. Shepard. Is that why they named him yes. Shepard and. Yes, fact, okay. <laughs> it, it sure is! <laughs> That's the second time in as many episodes that I learned something. When the American Writers, Writers Museum. Oh, Writers Museum opened in Chicago in 2017, it had the 120 foot long scroll, which on this author wrote on the road. Oh! Uh, it's, 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 oh, crap. Jack Kerouac. There mm. it is. Cool. I'm gonna, yeah. I, when, whenever I don't know, I feel really good about not buzzing in because I don't know it. So I would not have guessed. Okay. The Tuguski, Tuski, Tuskegee, thank you, <laughs> Institute National Historic Site includes Booker T. Washington's home and Museum did what this peanut guy. Damn it. Oh, I would have. If, if this were real Jeopardy, congratulations, by the way. Thank you. I would have guessed Jimmy Carter. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's the only peanut guy what I could his, think of. What is his relation to the Tuskegee Airmen? I don't know, but he's a peanut farmer. Bone famously. sharks. Bone shakers. Vel- Velocity. Shakers? Bone sharks? What am I doing? I don't know. Uh, in a museum honoring this mode of transport. All of these sound awesome, by the way. No, bone shakers. Not. Velocipedes. That sounds both horrifying and, and awesome. Schwins around? It's got to be rockets. Ra- no, it's bicycles. It's, it's bicycles. I, I, it's, oh, it's, it's bicycles. so bicycles. Oh my god. Well, it's, enjoy it's your four hundred dollars. Schwins. Schwins. Schwins bicycles. Schwins. Oh god. Schwin. All right. Fine. Fine. Uh. Oh, it is me. Okay. It is Let's you. do mountains. All right. All right. You can reach the top of this biblical mountain by taking the path of Moses, a stairway of nearly 4,000 steps, a stairway to heaven. Damn it. Mount Sinai. Sinai. I did know that. Although, 
if it were real Jeopardy, I would not have been able to pull the name out. I would have guessed it, though. So. This volcano, about 60 miles east-west, rather, of Tokyo, last erupted in 1707, but is still listed as active. That's terrifying. I'm not even going to bother. Mmm. Okay. Indeed. Yeah, okay, nice. that was, I was like, that sounds right. It sounds right. I've heard of Mount Fuji. It's I've, usually, right. yeah. I've heard of it. Right. That must be it. It's usually the one you've heard of yeah. in most cases. 31 of Europe's 40 highest mountains lie within this nation or on its borders. Uh, I'm not even going to try on this one. We'll see what Linda dre- dredges up for us. Switzerland? Exactly. You know, that makes sense. That uh, Yeah. That, that, I, that checks out. Player three. Okay. Category. Mm, who makes that cover for eight? The Camaro. Do I know this? I'm going to try it. I think it's... I don't know about this. Sorry, oh! Incorrect. I didn't know about this. You live in Michigan. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? That's Ford. Not it. Oh, it wasn't that either. Okay. Well, then okay. we should both move yeah, out of yeah. Michigan. We should. We don't deserve it. If she gets it wrong, okay. Chevrolet. So of, would, of the two people in the world... Yeah. We get car questions. <laughs> right, right, yeah. The least car The yeah. Regal. I'm not even... You know what? I, I'm going to sit this I don't out. know. Yeah. I'm just going to make something up. Uh, I would guess... That me. sounds like... Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. I would have guessed Mercedes, but... Exactly. I would have been wrong. I would have been wrong. I That was... That was my instinct, but I'm sure. like, eh, I don't, I don't know. Okay, okay. The Pacifica? Pacifica? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna hold off on this one. Linda, Lincoln? Wrong. Not Lincoln. All right. Hmm, okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, why did I just do that? I don't know. That's I not- don't know. What am I doing? Yeah, well, <laughs> these are the kinds of rookie mistakes you make if you're not as, uh, just, 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 just as on That wasn't the level. button I wanted to press. <laughs> here's, here, here's how a pro does it. Oh, if that hadn't worked, <laughs> if I had been wrong, that would have been such a embarrassing thing. All right, let's just finish the category, I think. The Camry. I feel like this is a famous one. I should know it, but I just don't. Do you? I, I do now. I do now. Seeing them, I know it. Yep. That's right. That's always the worst. Should have buzzed in. Oh god, I should have buzzed in. <sighs> it's your turn to choose a category. Stealing the mountains. The world's highest uh, COG railway, uh, COG railway, takes you to a summit of this 4.3 kilometer collo- cur- Uh. Pikes Peak. Sure. Yes. It was yes. Pikes Peak. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah. I can't help but notice that you have so much money. In 1963, Jim Whitaker became the first American to reach the summit of this 29,035 Do you know it? foot mountain. I think I might when I see it. 63? No. Sorry. Not Kilimanjaro? Then I'm going to go for it. Ha! Go for it. I'm going to go with Everest, I think. I don't know how tall Everest is. Oh, I guess it's 29,035 feet. It's, it always throws me off when there's not a hundred following a thousand. Like? Yeah. It's very weird. L- I guess we gotta at some point do NFL. <laughs> we have to, we have to, yeah. In 2016, this team moved from St. Louis I to I couldn't LA. tell you. Yeah. Let's just see. The Chargers, the Rams. Oh, it might be the Rams. It might well be the Rams, because I feel like I've heard about the Rams before. Exactly. It's the Rams! Wow! It's the Rams! The Rams. For those listening at home, yeah, or watching at home, right, right, right. We don't know sports. Yeah, it's it's honestly my least knowledge. I'm better at like f- theoretical physics than sports. The first of these games to be played in the Honolulu was on January 27, 1980. They end Honolulu 80 Super Bowl. That is not correct. Not the Super Bowl. Is it a bowl though? It might be a bowl. It's a bowl. No. No. Well, then I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sneak just my gonna, way in gonna, under the yeah. radar and uh, the Pro Bowl. You are Usually, it's the one that you've heard of. In this yeah. case, it was the one that I've never heard of. So, and you know, it's not true. I'm gonna amend my last statement. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know baseball. Okay, good. But That's... like, 
it's never the category. It's always right, right. football. It's or... always football, yeah. In the 80s, 90s, LT was used to refer to Lawrence Taylor. In the 2000s, LT was this running back who wore number 21. I was hoping that two of these wouldn't have LT as their initials. <laughs> it didn't work out for me. Is it this one? That's it correct. wasn't Thomas. I didn't know it. I'm sorry. Okay, Linda. Go, Linda. Go, Linda. Go, Linda, go, Linda, go. Go, Linda, go, Linda, go. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. All right. Well, Please select a category. sticking with the NFL, huh? In 1933, the first NFL championship game saw this team win 23-21 on the fourth quarter pass by Bronco Nagurska. Hmm. The Bears? The Bears. That's right. It was the Bears. Look at you. The okay. Bears. The Bears. The Bears. Mm. It's your turn to choose a category. All right. 2015, Dan Quinn became the 16th head coach of this team. See, this is weird because I've heard of this guy before, but not enough to know why. <laughs> Cleveland Browns? No. Not the Cleveland Browns. I'm sorry that had to happen to you, but it was foretold in the stars. Atlanta Falcons. They've never steered me, steered me wrong before. Correct. They've never steered me wrong never before. Steered me wrong before. Hundred percent success rate with the Atlanta Day Falcons. One. Please select a category. Uh, let's do nonfiction. We gotta clear our palette with all those. Mm -hmm. Those. This former president's 2017 bestseller, Portraits of Courage, includes a forward by his wife, Laura. Uh, I think it's it's Bush, right? Laura Bush. You it's gotta be. Right. Yeah. Okay. I was like, there was never a uh, no <laughs> Laura Obama. <laughs> I love that. I'm I on on a show where they can't see us. I nodded. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, they can hear it. Hey, it's look at me day with day. the daily double. Yeah. Boo, 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 boo. All right. All right. I need to do some serious math to figure out how much I need to beat you by two thousand and two hundred. I guess that wasn't that serious. One thousand two hundred. Let's just go with cool two thousand two thousand two thousand and two. That was a good year, I think. I like 2000. I was 11. In 2017, this Massachusetts senator hit the bestseller lists with the fight is our fight, the battle to save America's middle class. Uh, Massachusetts senator? senator? It could be Warren. She's a Massachusetts senator. I'm gonna go with Keith Warren. It was Warren. Nice. Thank you, Elizabeth nice. Warren. And I got, I'm, I got enough to beat you. I don't have enough to beat you. I guess low. I needed one more thousand. No! How could I have let this happen? Born a crime. Stories from a South African childhood. It's a 2016 memoir, but this host of The Daily Show. Ha! I know oh. you know it. Oh. I know you know it, which is why I'm so sorry to have to take this from you. You were quick on that draw, yeah, my friend. Yeah, it, it, is, it is not easy. It's very like an immediate, like, oh, you, you just pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. The Rainbow Comes and Goes is structured as a correspondence between Gloria Vanderbilt and her son, the CNN anchor. Probably another... Vanderbilt, right? Nope. Anderson Cooper. Cooper. Okay. That's correct. He's a Vanderbilt, huh? Mm -hmm. Or he comes from the Vanderbilt family. Two. All right. Two. Kill. Fashion trends. Ninety three. Prada launched this brand that continues to embrace savoir faire and refine experimentalism. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> What's your guess on this one? Machino. That is not. Correct. No. All right, I'll try it. I'll I'll I'll, I'll take you. the fifty fifty. I am beating you. I have not heard of either of these, so it could really be either one. I'm just gonna press them both and see what happens. Mew mew. Exactly. It was mew mew. Random chance. Mew mew. Mew mew. Remember in uh, Thor: The Dark World. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, when about. she threw it up and was like meow meow. Okay. This New England-based brand that started in 1973 has introduced fashion-forward updates to its classic work boots. I don't know. Why does it keep asking me these questions? I don't know. Timberland. That's Justin Timberland? No. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, congratulations. Yes. You're still beating me. I am still beating you. Oh, no! But now is your opportunity. Uh-oh. But how confident are you in fashion trends? That's the thing. No, I'm not. Yeah, so you don't want to risk too much. Hmm. <laughs> I feel that your 3001 is going to be a good one. Yeah, we won't know. <laughs> Gibbets makes a line of decorations to dress up these colorful clog-like shoes. 
Oh, I know it. I know it. No. No. Now you're beating me again. Okay. All right, all right, all right. The latest trend in fashion is opening hotels, at least in the case of this brand that's been headed by brother and sister Gianni and Donatella. Ooh, yes. Versace. Nice. Yes. Nice. Versace. Precisely. <sighs> okay, awesome. Nice. I knew something. Whoa, Juicy Next Gen is a hashtag associated with this on-trend brand? Juicy Fruit, please? No, it wasn't Juicy Fruit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, you got the points. I wanted them. I wanted them, but you were too... But I wanted them harder. You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were hungrier. All right, so we're in Final Jeopardy. This is truly it. This is for all the mar every marble is at stake here. Yeah, don't 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 look at what everybody else is wagering. I'm not looking at your screen right now, but I can't help but notice you're playing it safe. Okay. Pulitzer winners in 2001 and 2005, both of these one-word plays became movies. If you have one, you want the other. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know. Hmm. I could guess... The question is, how much did you wager? I don't want to talk about how much I wagered. Now's not the time to be talking about how much I wagered. Now's the time to talk about the score. Run to shelter. Mm, mm, Uh-oh. This boat's ill for me. Oh, I guess Rent and Shelter 2, because I knew Rent was from 2001, or early anyway. I lost everything! I bet it all. Doubt and prove. Exactly. No, you knew it! The, I love 2016. it. 2016! Final Jeopardy is literally in my field. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, that wasn't fair. I should have. should not have guessed so much. Oh, you bet the pot. I bet it all, baby. I bet it all. It didn't work out for me. Well, we've done it. We've truly done it. We've hey, conquered it. We've conquered We We together beat Linda. We can say that safely. So, as a team... Linda. Linda. She, she, she walked away with nothing. Though, to be fair... To be fair. Neither did you. All right, well, why don't we end the episode then, if you're going to be like that. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching, and tune in uh, in two days for more exciting stuff. Tune in tomorrow for also more exciting stuff. Uh, it's There's always episodes. Just just subscribe. Do all that. Connor, do you have a Twitter account, by the way, that nope. you want people to follow? No? Okay. Sure don't. Well, I do. You can, it's in links. I'm not going to talk about it right now. Let's talk about other stuff. Let's talk about movies. What movies do you like? Do you Dark like Knight. The Dark Knight? Good one. Great. Well, this has been Movie Talk with Connor and Mr. Red. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.